Okay, Timmy, uh, this video is for you. This is the wiring and connection of the OSD. Um, I realized I didn't do it at the beginning because I was confused myself about it. So I sat down here with pen and paper and wrote it all for whoever wants to do it. But practically you got three kind of wires. You got video, which is normally yellow, red, which is live, and black, which is ground. Then you got a camera, a video transmitter with an aerial here, VDX, in short, the OSD, a switch, and the GPS plug. Always use the OSD with a GPS plugged in, otherwise you could damage the OSD. And always use the video transmitter with the actual aerial plugged in, because you could damage the video transmitter. And go and so on. So when you do all the connections, make sure they're all, you know, not touching each other and stuff like that. And that's how it goes. So first of all, I am not taking any responsibility for any burned OSD or for any non-working video transmitter or camera after these wiring connections. Okay, to me it works. That's how my transmitter works. That's how it is. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the wires because they're all different colors, but practically that's how I did it. So you got two sections on the OSD. One is video, and this one, I'll write it even for you, is power. Alright, so you first do either or, but um, you have your video transmitter which has its own power line which is this one yeah you can see it is separated from the other three it's supposed to be power in and you do connect it to PCC and the ground of course to the ground then out of this that's how I have it I have like uh, some kind of a uh, exit it's a Y lead actually for Ireland so here we go I attach one of the balance lead female of the battery so I use the balance lead of the battery to power my OSD and the video transmitter and the camera at the same time okay you can use whatever you like, but uh, uh, has to be at the same voltage, right? Uh, there is another one here, which is called ENG, or engine and ground, and this is an exit, or an entrance actually, for uh, your motor. You can attach your motor, USC, ESC on it, and you can see how much voltage is being drawn out on your motor, and it will appear on your OSD. Frankly, I don't need that because I got telemetry on mine, so I did leave it here, you can see it, I did leave it disconnected, okay? So power in first, the VTX and the ground. Other power, the power is for the video in, for the camera. The camera needs power and it needs a ground, so that's where the power comes from. It comes from the video transmitter and the ground goes all the way up here in the video in okay and the video lead goes from the camera because the image comes here in 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 into the video in plug okay so from power now we go on, we power the VTX, we power the camera, and now we're going to video in everything. Now, audio video out, that's it, that's these three leads there, right? That's your video out. So, this, this is it, right? It is in your video transmitter. So you connect the video out 
two video out so the video the yellow of your video transmitter here goes here and the ground goes here all you have to know is that your video transmitter has three connections one for the camera and one for the video out and one for the power itself okay so that's how I connect it. I'm going to photograph this and actually put it on this video. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully you cannot. I hope you can. Um, this switch is the one you change. Is this switch here. You press it once and it will zero in the OSD. You press it for a long time, it will change your camera setting from from PAL to NTSC and that's all you can do with it <laughs> more or less uh, I think if you press it for a very very long time it just resets itself to factory settings but I don't know I never tried that that's how it works for me and, and that's how it goes if you don't like it to get it so hot because I, I get it from uh, uh, this lead which is 11.7 volts uh, well you can use always a BEC and make it work at 5 uh, don't know how it's gonna work and what's the voltage of the whole situation there so you'll have to keep that in mind as well uh, but yeah that's the camera over there that's a video transmitter I did not solder anything except a few little leads here and there because I want to be this OSD detachable and I want to be able to put it somewhere else if I want to I want to be able to change the video transmitter I want to be able to change the camera in case it fails I hope you enjoy that and uh, I leave you with the photograph of this thing and uh, you have a very good day give me a thumbs up if you like that blue sky to everybody ciao